Well, hello everyone, this is Peter Brown with your look at your weather for the next seven days and including the all-important 4th of July weekend forecast. Now, starting on our period, we're going to be seeing temperatures that are going to be much different than what we've been seeing the past few days here in the Burlington area. We had many days where we saw temperatures near 100, heat indices that were up near 110, some really high humidity, and that is being completely swept out of New England. We're actually going to be seeing temperatures as we start out up here on Friday, only in the mid to upper 60s. So you're going to need probably a sweatshirt out there after our body's getting used to this incredibly hot weather that we had for most of June. And as we rounded our period getting to it's Thursday, our average highs at this time of the year should be around 85, so in the mid to upper 80s. And we're going to be actually a little bit cooler than that, closer to average than we'll be to start out our period. But again, nothing like the weather that we've been seeing the past couple of days here in Burlington. And of course, as you notice at our sunrise and sunset times, the days are indeed getting a little bit shorter as we head into it's July. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at what the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us here in the Burlington area in terms of temperature and precipitation for the next 7 to 10 days. And again, looking at this temperature graphic, they're calling for us to have at or above average temperatures. I'm not really seeing that in all the models that I was looking at as we were putting the forecast together here. Looks like we're going to have a lot of below average days. In fact, the only above average day that we might see will probably be on Tuesday when we see temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. But other than that, it's going to be fairly cool to start out our week and then getting back to around average by the end of the period. And again, as we go ahead and take a look at our chances of precipitation, again, this doesn't really match up with what I've been seeing in the models. They're calling for us to have below average precipitation. And we're actually going to have quite a few days of showers on Friday going, yes, into Saturday and Sunday, most of the day on Sunday as well. So getting in towards your time when you'll be going out to see the fireworks. It looks like the clouds are still going to be winning out. We're going to see some rain in there. And also when we get into it's Wednesday of next week, looks like we're going to see a chance of some showers. We're going to have to see if what the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us holds, but I think we're going to see average or above average precipitation for the next seven days. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at that weather coming up again for the next seven days. And again, starting out on your weekend on Friday, not a great day at all. Temperatures down in the mid to upper 60s. Saturday is going to be even cooler than that. In fact, if you're going to be anywhere near the ocean on Saturday, I wouldn't hazard to guess that temperatures will have a hard time getting above 60. So you're definitely going to need a sweatshirt out there or a jacket, especially after how hot it's been recently. Unfortunately, that unsettled weather is going to continue into Independence Day on Sunday. It looks like it's still going to be pretty cloudy out there and showery, a little bit warm with temperatures up near 70, but definitely nothing like we've been seeing the next few days. In fact, this is reminiscent of what our Memorial Day weekend was like. Certainly, definitely not as cold or rainy, but definitely raw out there. And of course, as you head back to work on Monday, if you do have to go back to work and you don't have the long of course, temperatures are going to be back up near 80 again and pleasant out there. And as we round out our period, temperatures will be getting back towards average again, that chance of some showers on Wednesday. So everyone, get out there, have a great weekend, enjoy the weather, and have a happy 4th.